guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Hub Roulette. Today we're bringing guys episode number 25 and last episode, oh man, it was a good one. So right now, we're doing pretty well in the season. We're nine points in. We're seven points away from that league title, which is I think another three or four games here. And we have five games remaining, so we can definitely get the title this time around. And uh, I'm really looking forward to just finishing off this series and kind of starting off a new series for sure because our team is pretty stacked. And uh, I, I'm kind of like, this isn't too hard of a challenge. We got a lot of good players, but I wouldn't mind kind of restarting uh, Hut Roulette or maybe trying to get back Ovi's Hut back in the mix of things uh, because, you know what, this series has kind of run its course a little bit and we're not too far off from winning that Division One title as well. So uh, I'll talk to you guys about uh, new series ideas that I have for Ovi's Hut at least. I know that I haven't really talked too much about it, and I know there's a lot of people wondering why I haven't uploaded Ovi's Hut as well, uh, but I kind of want to give you guys like a revamped version of that series, and I think it's going to be a really fun challenge that we can play on our channel, and I think you guys will really enjoy it, because I have some really good ideas I want to add into it. So, anyways, that's about it. We're going to get right into the first game. I will go through the team before we start, because I did rearrange the lineup just a little bit. I did put in Anze Kopitar into that second line center spot. People were saying that he has an amazing wrist shot and I have to try it out. So I have to put him on the second line. He's playing alongside with Gabriel Landeskog and Taylor Hall. I did move down Connor McDavid and I did take out Tyler Johnson from the fourth line right wing spot. And you guys were saying you should give Bobby Ryan a little bit more of a chance. So I'm giving him that chance right now. Third line left wing for him. And he's playing alongside with Rick Nash as well, moving up him a spot as well. And going on to the fourth line, uh, pretty much our third line moved down to the fourth. Couture is now playing on the right side of Ryan Kessler. And James Neal is also playing on the left side as well on that fourth line. We're going to see if that line does pretty well. I have no doubts it's going to do well. But uh, anyways, let's go to the defense here. Not much has changed at all. Uh, Cronwell, Luongo, and Eric Carlson, as well as Hamilton, Garrison, Johnson, and Mike Green on our third line defender pairing. So that's how our team's looking like. Let's get started into the first game. Let's see what we can do. Alright, so we're getting this game going. Looks like we have a Philadelphia fan here. He's got Giroux, Curry, I think that was Eric Lindros on his right wing. So he's got a couple of legends there. Uh, we're going to see how we play this game. Let's get it going. Oh, what a snipe. God damn it. Phil Kessel, far down basically. And uh, right now he's leading one to nothing. Not a good goal to give up. I thought I played pretty good defensively there, but if I rewatched that film, probably I didn't do too well there. So anyways, we're losing 1-0. Gotta get that goal back. Oh my goodness. Absolutely putting on the pressure on me, and I give up that bad defensive play. And uh, he gets the interception there, 2 to nothing, And uh, we gotta get those two goals back. Hopefully, one goal before the first period ends. <sighs> Alright, we're not playing horrible, I guess. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Alright, 12 to 1 in shots. 2 minutes time on attack to 4 minutes. So, yeah, we're getting our ass whooped right now. We gotta really step it up in the second period. That is not good enough if we want to win this game. So, alright, let's get the second period going. Let's see what we can do. Go Nash, go Nash. Get around Falk. Get around him. Oh, come on. This guy's pretty good at defense. Not gonna lie. No, and another goal. Pretty much the same one as Phil Kessel's. Be beating me on the short side again. Are you serious? Oh, man. I'm playing such bad defense right now. I don't know what I'm doing. Four to nothing. Second period. I don't even know if we can get those goals back. Well, we're getting some shots in net. Someone get in front. Okay, back to the point. Back to the other point. Sh just shoot on net. Get it on net. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Uh, right there. Shoot. Off the guy's uh, shin. Shoot it again. Taylor Hall. Stick lift. That's not a penalty. Get that out of here. I think he's got a penalty himself. Uh... Back down low. Nah, alright. Anyways, we got a power play. See if we can generate some chances here. Alright, Bergeron's team the face off. Alright, there's a nice stick lift. Back down low. Come on. Help him out, help him out. There you go. That's another penalty. That's gotta be another penalty. 
There it is. Five on three. All right. Let the penalties keep rolling in. I like it. All right, Bergeron, let's do the forehand stick lift. Stick lift. There it is. And shoot. Oh, no. We got a shot on there at least. Uh, in front. There it is. Kane. No, no, no. Okay. Um, he's going to expect the pass. Oh, edge game. There it is. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. Hopefully, that can fire us up a little bit. Get some momentum going. Get that ice tilt going. Four to one. Second period. Six minutes left. We still got the power play. Let's see if we can keep going. Oh, a nice little uh, flying poke check there. That was a dangerous play. Oh, man. All right. Uh, let's sauce it past the boards. Come on, Bergeron. Pick up the puck. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh, no. But anyways, got to play some good defense here. This guy knows how to play offense and defense pretty well. Definitely a Division One player. Uh, okay. Nope, nope. Don't let him get the shot on. Come on, Kane. Ovechkin. Get around him. Uh, Jesus, Jesus. So slow. Kessler's got the puck. Kessler's got the puck. Pass it across. No. Trying to do a little bit of a shimmy shake there with uh, Bergeron. Oh, God. Don't let him get by. Don't let him get by. No. No. That's my net. Get out of here. Oh, man. Ovi's shot is just way too hard. Breaking his stick. Come on, Ovi. What are you doing? Oh, he's still he's trying to get the puck. Oh, nice, nice, nice. If Ovi actually generated a chance from that, that would be like... Magical. Back down low to Nash. Only got a little bit of time left. Back to the point. Rip it. Oh my goodness. That could have been a buzzer beater. Dougie Hamilton's shot is absolutely like disgusting. Alright, second period. I mean, things are looking up. We got some more time on attack there. Uh, we're only off by a few shots. I gotta play a lot better defensively. I'm just getting owned right now. Oh, Hall. Come on, Hall. There it is. Got one goal back. We're only down by two, so we're in this game, boys. Game, boys. <laughs> All right. Anyways, four to two. Fifteen minutes left. We just need one more goal here, and we're back in the game. Oh, Dougie Hamilton. Just get, keep getting him the puck. His shot just flies off a stick. All right. Oh, God. Look how fast Duchesne is. Oh, God. That, that could have been really dangerous. Don't let him get the puck. Don't let him pass it on front. Dougie. Block the passes. Block the passes. There it is. Nice. Nice defensive play. Couture. Pass it up to Neil. Oh, got Burns here. Burnsy. Burn him. Burn him. Hamilton. Pass it. Oh, no. It got a net. Just, oh, man. We're getting close, but we're running out of time. Now, that's going to be the end of this game. Just... Down too many goals, just couldn't catch back up. He was really uh, putting on the pressure on the offensive zone. I just could not get it out. So, unfortunately, that is a loss. We get the double pucks at least. That That's always nice, but not a good uh, loss for us. 4-1-1 in the season. At least we're not going to get relegated. So, let's take a look at the stats. We got a little bit closer. It was better than the first period for sure, but, oh, man, that first period was horrible. Patrick Kane getting the first star, which is pretty nice. Uh, Yari Curry for him getting the second, as well as Claude Drew for him getting the third as well. So, anyways, I'm going to meet you back at the team. Uh, we're also going to have to go to Ram.org and remove a player, so I'll meet you guys there as well. Be right, be right back. Alright guys, so probably the worst part about losing a game, we have to remove a player. So let's go ahead, copy and paste this list, and whatever is at the top of the list, we have to move off the team. And let's randomize. And it's going to be the second line left defender. So let's go ahead, go back to the team, see who that is, and we'll have to remove him. All right, guys, so we're back on the team. Uh, and on the second line left defenseman spot, we have Jason Garrison Milestone. So unfortunately, we have to remove him off the team, even though he's playing really well. So let's go ahead, remove him from the lineup, and we'll go ahead and move, uh, put in another player in his spot. And just like that, we put in Mark Stahl. Actually, he has a little bit of chemistry with Dougie Hamilton because Mark Stahl is a defensive defenseman and he plays well with offensive defensemen. So, uh, hopefully that will complement each other pretty well, but we bring back Mark Stahl from the dead. Also, we are going to have to change our goalie because he is fatigued. Put back in Frederick Anderson, but, oh man, we made a pretty good run for it. We got a four-game win streak just about and we had to lose it right at the very end, which is which sucks a little bit, but uh, anyways, we're going to have to expect that in Division 1. So, let's get started to the second game of the episode. Let's see if Frederick Anderson can play a little bit better.
Okay, guys, so we're playing back at our home arena. Hopefully that will spark some energy into our team. He's got Datsug on his team as well. So it's going to be a little bit hard to see, uh, a little bit hard for this opponent, but let's get this game going. He's got Patrick Wall on net as well. It's going to be a tough game. Oh, Jesus. All right, this is really dangerous. I don't know. His team is really quick and speedy. He's got a lot of good snipers on his team as well. Let's see if we can uh, play some good defense there. Don't let tip it. Ah, oh, Patrick Marlowe just totally fooled the goalie right there. Not a good start once again to the first period. I just got to play better here. I don't know what's with my defense right now. But that was a really nice tip, though. I thought I could poke it off. Do I have it on tight point? Uh, yeah, I do have it on tight point, so... Maybe I have to put it on higher pressure. I don't know, but one to nothing. 11 minutes left. All right, guys. So end of the first period. We definitely got to step up our game here. Four to three in shots. Look at our time on attack. One minute. We got to get some more time on attack there if we want to score some goals. So, uh, all right. Let's get the second period started. We need a comeback here. Oh no, another goal given up and just like that is 2 nothing. <sighs> Jesus, come on. No, Patrick Wall, how do you save that? That was like the patented like back, double backhand too and I couldn't score it. Damn, I'm just getting outplayed here. Just outplayed. I don't even know. My guys cannot pick up the puck right now. Bad defending on my part. Three to nothing. We're back in a hole. There it is. Right there we get a goal back. At least break a shadow just a little bit, but we're only down two goals now. And we had to score that on the power play as well on Patrick Waugh. Beat him on the rush a little bit, but I'll take that goal any day. Three to one, two more goals left. There it is, we got one goal back. Only down by one. We're not getting any opportunities at all score. Just once he comes down to my zone, he gets that little offensive ray going. And it's really frustrating. But Patrick came with a little break there. And we do the double backhand. Just at least make it close at least, right? There it is. Patrick Wall. Get out of here with those purple pads. Alright. Three to two. One minute left. Can we tie it up? Nah. There's no way. He's just getting the puck deep. Couldn't get the puck out, and there it is. 3-2, another loss in this Hot Roulette series. Just those goals in the beginning of the game absolutely just hold me back. Held in Division 1. At least we're staying in Division 1, guys. But our team is just getting going to get a little bit worse after we lose another player here. So, uh, looks like that. We end off uh, Division 1 not on a good note in this episode. 13-12 and 12 in shots. Uh, 9 minutes time on attack to 6 minutes, so getting outplayed there, Marlo, Bossy, Camilleri, all picking up 3 stars, so once again, back on random.org, I'll meet you guys there. Alright guys, we're back, and I think this is the first time in Hut Roulette history where we're actually picking off 2 players from our team in 1 episode. That is pretty crazy, but I mean, Division 1 right now just feels... Uh, hopeless right now. I don't know. I gotta play a little bit better, but at the same time, those first period goals just absolutely kill me. And I can't dig myself out of them when I actually try extremely hard at the end. But anyways, let's go ahead, copy and paste this list, and we'll go ahead and randomize, and whatever is the top player is what we're gonna have to pick. And it's going to be the backup goaltender. And I think I know who that is already, but uh, I think that's the first time we're going to lose a goaltender in this series. So let's go ahead and uh, choose our backup goaltender to leave. I'll pick another goalie to come in in his spot. All right, so let's go to our backup goaltenders here. And I think it is Roberto Luongo that is our backup goaltender right now. So let's go ahead, choose him, and remove him off the team. So instead of just moving him, I'm just going to substitute for one of our other goalies we had. 
I'm pretty sure uh, I think I know who it is. It's going to be uh, Sergei Bobrovsky in there. So let's go ahead and put him in. He was one of our Hut Roulette pickups, so he will kind of fit in nicely just a little bit. A little bit higher overall. Maybe he can stop a couple more shots because overall is a little bit higher, but we will have to see in the next episode of Hut Roulette. A little bit unfortunate. No pickups this episode. Just losing players. Losing that Division 1 title. That is not a good episode to go off of, but uh, we have to end it here anyways. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Hut Roulette. Hopefully you guys still enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Alright, player peeves, redeem yourself. I mean, these are just horrible. Alright, next one. Oh, okay, okay. It's not a flash forward card. I, I got a little overexcited there, but our pack one is actually insane right now. Top card. I will definitely take that.